This video is for people who bought a shoeing stock kit. We don't have written instructions, so we're doing this video to show you how. So this is the base of the stock. You will take your four by six uh, posts and cut them at an angle. You can see the angle there. And then you, two of those, that makes the runners for the base. And then you will lay your uh, one by boards on top of that. And uh, here at the factory, they shoot nails in. You can do nails or you can do screws. Doesn't matter, whichever you prefer. Nails come with the, with the kit. And then you'll want to cut out these, these notches. And we'll show you in a moment here how the posts sit down on that. These notches are five and a half inches each way. You'll want to do one of those, on each, two on each side, four of those, one for each post. Pre-drill it. Now you pick the post up, and you set it in that notch like that with your, the notch on the post needs to overlap onto the base so that there's no gap there. You simply free drill. Put your legs in. So that post is in, and this angle is already attached. In a little bit, we'll show you how where the the uh, cross tie sits on top of that. So once you're four posts are in, we showed you how to put the four posts in, once all four posts are in, then you will want, the next thing you want to put in is this cross tie. You can see uh, right now this is covered up with, with this plate, but if you look here you can see it goes into the notch and down there is that five inch angle that we put in, put on that one post. And what you do, you put this in and you just set it on. You don't attach it right away. You put one on each side and then you pull the top together and you attach this top board at the top here. Where it takes two leg screws and or yeah, two, two leg bolts and five leg screws. It's flush with the post here and flush at the top. As you can see, you put one on one side and then the other side. And once you have those on, then you go on top and put that top board across. That top board needs to come out flush like you see it there. And you should screw into the post. You should put the lag bolt into the post, not just into the board on the side. And then also there's a couple of screws. How many screws? There's five screws that go down from the top and that's on each post. You do those and then you've got your top all tied together. And then once you have that done, then you come down here and you finish, you, you, you attach these five inch angles. You already have the one drilled into the post, but then you, you put in your leg bolts into the cross tie. And once you have those in, you put this 11 inch plate on, on each corner. So now we need to attach the, uh, the blocks and they get attached. You can see there the, your toenail in, two nails, two of the six inch spikes get toenailed in at the top. It's 
kind of hard to see there. I'll, I'll show you from the other side. But there's two six inch nails that go straight in through the block into the post from there. And then for this front foot rest, uh, that needs to be very, very solid. So it gets toenailed in at the top. And also the another five inch angle with the leg screw leg bolts go in and then also down here two six inch spikes go in through there and that will hold that post nice and solid the get my shadow out of the way here the hole there we just take a drill bit and drill through uh, drill a couple of holes through and round it out and may just make it big enough for the strap to go through like you can see on the other one over there on the back we do basically the same thing and this block is toenailed at the top with two spikes and it gets nailed through there and again that's in the shadow it's hard to see so I'll come over here and there at the top you toenail in with two six inch spikes and there you run two six inch spikes through there and we're all good once you have the blocks attached you're ready to put the angle bracing on and you can pretty much see how that attaches. You put one on each corner and then uh, after you have those on you want to put on these angle braces that you see here in the front of the, the 45 degree angle because uh, they're, they're bent at 45 degrees so that they match up with the cross tie and the post on the standard draft stock, there's two in the front, and on the oversize draft stock, there is two in the back as well. The next thing that you need to do is to attach the chain locking mechanism on these, uh, I believe that's a 28 inch angle. The uh, These will not be attached. You will have to attach that uh, yourself with the bolts that are included. To attach these, you will need to drill three holes through the cross tie and attach the angles using the three bolts with lock nuts that are included. Once these are on, you can adjust that to fit most horses. You also need to attach the chain over here, as you can see, you simply run a leg bolt in through the links. Uh, one leg bolt for the top chain and one leg bolt for the bottom chain. It's all, all together, all one piece, but uh, you need to have a, a bolt for the top and a bolt for the bottom, both front and back. You will also need to uh, slip the chain through these rubber hose. Uh, on this there's one cross section here on the bottom the part that goes underneath the horse uh, and those get attached just with a quick link. Very simple. The back chains will also need to be attached. As you can see you run a lag bolt through one of the links just like on the front chains. The chains run across the back and through the locking mechanism and that is attached with bolts and nuts just like the front ones were. Finally you put the front end on. There are four of these front end pieces and uh, pretty self-explanatory what you do there. And then you put you put them on both sides and you have to put how long are these angles? 40 inches? Those pieces are 40 inch angles that go across that front board and your pins go down through make sure you clip them and there you have your fully assembled stock so this is how you put the padding on you can see that it's cut uh, and, and ready and so we'll just show you here how you put it on and and attach it. It's very simple to do. And then you just wrap it around the post. To make it fit. 
fits right on there and you you put it on and those those cuts go like that and you just simply either staple it on or you can use roofing nails or whatever you prefer here they use a uh, an air stapler so you can see when you get the padding it's marked that's pretty self-explanatory I believe back post and so here's how you put that one on it's all cut all ready to go Just fold it down like that staple it the top you fold it around staple it cut a slit there for the eye to come through and uh, simple as that